How to Code a Sandcastle by Josh Funk. Hello world, I'm Pearl. It's the last day of summer vacation, which means today is my very last chance to build a sandcastle. I've tried every single day, but something always ruins it. First came the flying saucers, then the shark attack, and maybe worst of all was the moat that Ada Puglace added. Yuck. But today, I've got the perfect plan. I've brought my trusty rust-proof robot, Pascal. Say hello to the world, Pascal. Hello, world. He'll do whatever I tell him, as long as I tell him in code. It's not a secret code. It's special instructions that computers understand. Now, build a sandcastle, Pascal. Hmm, I guess he doesn't know how to do that. But a coder takes one big problem and breaks it into several smaller ones. If I give Pascal enough instructions that he does know, we'll build the castle in no time. It'll be easy. Small problem number one, find a place to build. Pascal, find a flat spot away from all dogs and frisbees. Uh, no, Pascal, we need to be on land. Uh, too far. I guess I need to be very specific with my instructions. Pascal, find a flat spot on sand that isn't too close to the water. This isn't as easy as I thought, but at least we have a place to build. Small problem number two. Gather up sand. Now, we'll need a huge pile of sand. It is very important to tell Pascal everything in the correct sequence. That means in the right order. One, fill the pail with sand. Two, dump the sand on our spot. Three, pat the sand down. Great job, Pascal. Now let's do it again. Fill the pail, dump the sand, pat it down. And again, fill, dump, pat. This is getting so boring. There must be a coding trick I can use. Aha, a loop. When you need to repeat something in code, you can use a loop. Pascal, loop through this sequence. Fill the pail with sand, jump the sand on our spot, pat the sand down. This still might take a while. I'm gonna relax while you work. Uh-oh, I think that's big enough. Time for a break, Pascal. Small problem number three, shape and decorate the castle. Let's each find some fancy decorations and bring them back here. I've got seashells. What do you have, Pascal? That's way too big. You need to find something smaller. Ah. Uh. We need something that isn't moving. Pascal, that's not ours. Maybe I need to give him better instructions and if then else should do the trick. If the item you see is small and doesn't move and doesn't belong to anyone, then bring the item back to the castle. Else, find something different. Perfect. Let's shape the castle and decorate. Now, our castle is finally finished. Wait here, I'll be right back with some toys. Are you ready to play? Oh, oh no, what happened? Of course, it's high tide and our castle, it's all gone. Go ahead, pee. You can't make a moat today. Wait. A moat? A moat would have protected the castle from the tide. If only I had thought of a moat earlier. It took half the day to figure out how to code a sandcastle. But hold on. I already wrote the code to build a sandcastle. I can easily use that code again. One, find a place to build. Two, gather up sand. Three, shape and decorate the castle. But we're not done. Now we've got a new problem. Small problem number four, 
build a moat. I think a new sequence should solve this small problem, and I know how to write one of those. Let's try. One, dig around the outside of the castle. Two, fill the pail with sand. Three, empty the pail away from the castle. And we need to repeat that until we've got, until we've gone all around the castle. I know, another loop. One, dig around the outside of the castle. Two, fill the pail with sand. Three, empty the pail away from the castle. That's enough, Pascal. Hooray, our sand castle is finished and safe from the ocean. Let's play. Hey, Pascal, now that we know how to code one sand castle, we can code an entire kingdom. Return the end. How to code a sandcastle.